everybody. We are going to be talking about the landing of my dart today. Um, so, where my dart had landed was in the Tasman Sea, or Tasmanian Sea, uh, right next to Tasmania uh, in the Oceanic Plate, uh, out by uh, Australia and New Zealand in the Australian Plate. Uh, so, the coordinates of this uh, of the start. Uh, is 44 degrees 36 uh, minutes and 42 st seconds north uh, south and 152 degrees 30 de uh, minutes and 26 seconds east uh, the age of the seafloor is roughly 70 million years old uh, going to the this little map right here uh, it's a little disorienting at first but uh, Australia uh, New Zealand is right here and Tasmania is right here so if we zoom in we can see right here that this is around the area that the dart had landed uh, mostly in this little dark, darker green area uh, if we look over here it says it's about 70 to 80 million years old so this is how this is how old the uh, sea floor is uh, relative to where the dart had landed uh, the distance between the spreading floor and the age of the spreading floor uh, is only should looks like it's only by about a few kilometers as right here it's much younger uh, it's a much younger seafloor indicating that the sediment that we're looking at here is where the spreading uh, zone is so uh, the spreading zone is roughly 50 50 or so million years old um, not being not being very old in terms of how old the average lithospheric uh, plate can be. That said, um, the distance from them is only a couple of kilometers away from the darts landing point. Um, as we move on to the elevation of it, it's a little, again it's a little disorienting to see, but around here the elevation we can see is about negative four uh, kilometers below the uh, sea level which would be the uh, true surface of the earth is sea level so it's a fairly deep um, it's a fairly deep um, elevation however it is not otherworldly worldly as there's plenty of other areas within the uh, earth that are extremely um, low in elevation as well even lower around these areas right here uh, in the Pacific Ocean, uh, the thickness of the settlements of the sediments uh, I find are about uh, two uh, two kilometers thick, um, locating right around here. As you can see, uh, the the sediments are more of a light gray color, um, and as shown on the chart right here, it is about that would make it about two uh, kilometers thick of sediments. Uh, as compared to some of the other sediments around, found around, it's not as close to the coastline, making it less thick as, say, uh, around um, India and uh, Southeast Asia. However, it's more uh, thick than in these uh, in the southern e uh, southeastern uh, part of the Pacific Ocean. Um, so. What kinds of uh, what kinds of sediments do we find here? Well, if we look at this uh, volcanic map, we see that around New Zealand and uh, Australia, right by Tasmania here, uh, we have a few volcanoes that can give off uh, terrigenous uh, sediments as well as uh, calcareous uh, sediments, which is sort of proof that through ocean flow and other things like that, it'll end up being in the uh, landing point and mostly dominating as terrigenous sediments around here um, yeah so that's about it for my video uh, I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, I hope you learned a lot from it so yeah have a good day